My name is Melody Dickinson and I'm from Philadelphia. My name is Nuno Diniz and I'm from Portugal. My name is Ryan Quinlan, I am from New Jersey. My name is Gabriel de la Torre and I'm from Mexico. My name is Marta, I am from Poland. My name is Christina Sujin Kim and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Before MIT, I got an undergraduate degree in economics and then I spent a few years on Wall Street. I had been an entrepreneur, I had done procurement, I had done a little bit of management. Coming to MIT was a real aggregation of all of those experiences in the workplace. During my time at Sanyo, I noticed that a lot of suppliers still manage their business by intuition, not necessarily by methodologies. And that's the time when I realized that I want to obtain some more advanced knowledge about supply chain management. Right now, the way competition is happening around the world, it's not really company versus company. A company can be really efficient at what it does, but it's really the supply chain that the company is a part of. It actually ends up being supply chain versus supply chain. By coming to school here and really understanding all of the different dimensions of supply chain, you can really be successful in, in affecting change within a company. The master's program actually starts in the summer. From the day one, you receive a a set of very clear instructions of the things you need to do before you get here. We were just two weeks into orientation and I remember thinking, I've already learned so many things that I would go back right now to my job and do things completely differently. After that we go into the regular classes and it becomes very hectic very quickly. You go to class a few hours a day, but then you are continually involved with group projects. And generally, these projects are tied with external companies who are our clients that we then have to present to. So in that sense, they're really helping us build our leadership skills and our ability to manage multiple projects at once. I know some of my classmates, I didn't have a background in operations or logistics, but I was actually pleasantly surprised as to how much overlap there was between my previous careers and preparing me for the program here at MIT. Supply chain management is about people, and so in terms of my interests, I was able to catch on to the quantitative really easily because you're just relating it back to the people in the business side. Once the fall is over, then you move on to IAP. IAP is a unique experience here because our sister program, it's in Zaragoza, actually comes over here to Cambridge for the first three weeks of January. During that time, we have a leadership class. We do a supply chain simulation. And then at the end of that, we all travel together to Spain. We got a really good inside look at how logistics actually happens in the real world and in a country that is so different from ours. On the other half, of the program. We have less classes, but there's a lot of work on your thesis. I worked in a project at MIT as it's called the MIT Global Scale Initiative. I tried to see if there was any correlation between demographic factors and the way people act in terms of risk management. Maybe the same company in some countries has to focus more in prevention, while in other countries has to focus more in response. So you get this wide breadth of experience, but at the same time, you're just continually focusing every moment of every day, you're, you're being challenged to get enough resources to help you complete that work. When I came here, I didn't realize that I would be gaining not only a great educational experience, but also 32 new best friends. We work together and we play sports together, we hang out together. It's really small program, but the fact that it's small, you get to know each other very well. MIT has a wide variety and selection of clubs and interest groups. The breadth of everything that's going on here at MIT is enriching no matter what you're focused on in your specific study. Supply chain management is all about leadership, communication, and working through people because any company is really a group of people. So the communication aspect really helped us all to work through the tough times and understand people's perspective much better. Those kind of relationships form very organically, but they ended up being so strong that I actually don't want to graduate. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm friends with these guys forever, and I mean, I, I know I will be. The program provides you with uh, very good tools to develop your career. From the day one, you're already working on your resume and they understand that people come for a year because they need to go back into industry. So they provide you with all the networks to be able to succeed. I'm really, really excited because I got a job with Amazon. In the end, I'm gonna go back to the same company I was working for in Mexico. I will be 
going to a contract manufacturer company in Asia. Next year I'll be joining Apple as a supply demand manager. Being admitted to the program is, is such an achievement that it really makes you believe in yourself. It gave me the ability to basically figure out what I wanted to do in life and having the MIT brand to back you is just amazing. I mean, it opens doors everywhere you go. If you want to do something in operations or supply chains or logistics, I can't think of a better program in the country. You'll work with some of the best professors and researchers in the field. You will develop skills that are transferable to anything that you want to do in the future. Now that I'm at the very end of this, of the program, it's like I am just so anxious and on fire. I'm ready to get out there and, and tackle these supply chain problems.